I'm uh, Alan, I'm with Discount Starter and Alternator, and we're gonna do some uh, demonstrations on checking some 12 volt DC starters. We have a lot of customers, they're not sure if they have a defective starter or not. One way to check it is you take it off a piece of equipment or the car, and you can test it on the bench here, and they'll tell you whether or not the problem's with the starter, or if you have another issue somewhere else, wiring, fuse, or something of that nature. To do this test, it's a basic test. Uh, you can do it with a 12 volt battery. It needs to be fully charged, and you can also use just a basic pair of jumper cables. This is a UTV starter, ATV off a four-wheeler. These starters are, do not have a solenoid on them, so there's basically just two connections you have to make to check them. The first step you need to do is make sure you have a fully charged 12-volt battery. Um, take your ground, hook it to the ground side of the battery. Then you have to ground the starter itself. Just hook it on there. Take your positive cable. Hook it to your positive post on the starter. This is considered the hot post on the starter. That's where your battery wire hooks to it on the uh, ATV. Just touch it to it and you'll hear the starter running. You can hear it spinning so you know you do have a good starter. You have an issue somewhere else besides your starter. When you test your starter and you're hooking your cables up, you'll notice once you hook your positive cable up, as the shaft is turning, this shaft here, you can feel it is turning in a counterclockwise direction. This is considered a counterclockwise rotating starter. 